Welcome, Anthony Hudson with you. Now it's time for Sunday Night Football. Pretty good conditions for football tonight. I welcome Gary Lyon with me as we prepare for this big game. I had an absolute pleasure to join you. Tonight, West Coast and St Kilda. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. You're right, Hutto. It's a big midfield battle today. Whichever team can get on top in the middle of the ground will walk out with us today. West Coast lifted by the roar as they make their way onto the ground. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. The West Coast sky, I will to win, will never die. The captains make their way to the middle for the toss. West Coast kicking to the right of screen. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. Both sides look ready to get into the action just moments away now. The umpire gets things underway, punched away. She's got the football now. Applying the physical pressure, putting on the bump of screen. Got boot to ball. A big contested grab. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping she can put this one through the big sticks. Drives towards half forward. Putting this one through would give West Coast plenty of confidence. She heads for home. Lauren sends the drop pun on its way for another goal. Gets her first. Pretty happy with that one. West Coast draw first blood. Center bounce. Swats it. She has the ball with quick hands. Quickly onto the boot. Takes the mark. Good opportunity for St Kilda to put a goal through here. A kick to even up the scores. Marking in space for McDonald. McDonald tucks it into the pocket. Marks all the line. 30 metres from home. Move it on. Chance here to level the score. No problems with that kick from home. She sinks her first goal. Smiles all round. St Kilda with their first of the match. We're back in the middle to resume play. One down. Ends up with Johnson. Kelly kicks hurriedly. What marks it? 40 metres out. Okay. Going for goal number one. She's excited about that one. Of course, Hannah. She's excited about that one. That's two in a row for St Kilda. Six points the difference. Hammers it. She's got the football now. Exxon lobs the handball. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Kicks hurriedly. Whoa, what a mark! Phillips moves it now. Open opportunity for Johnson. Decides to kick. A chance to gather the ball. Dowry brushes off the tackle. Handballs. With the ball is McDonald. She's got the footy in her hands. Looks to move it by foot. Gets into some space to mark this. Caulfield looks to convert this opportunity. Takes a simple grab. Atkins, a long way out, lining up from a 45 degree angle. 45 metres out, an ideal position to be kicking from. Move it on. Going for goal number two. Pinpoint accuracy from Lauren. She 
he celebrates hard after that. The scoreboard is level. We resume hostilities. Tap down is in her possession. Is accepted. Davidson. There to mop up. They can create from this. Go short by hand. It's cut off by Kelly. Hands that ball to the opposition. Soccer's a kick. Listen to the roar of the fans. They love that decision. Kicks to the square. Phillips with the mark. Puts boot to ball. Hill picks up the loose ball. Ball picked up. Raiden gets a quick kick away. Cameron takes the mark. Uncontested. Driving kick inside 50. Strong mark in the contest. Steers it towards goals. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. That's her first. Look at them celebrate that effort. West Coast could kick the last two goals. The margin is six. Taps it down. Laurie soccers it forward. Wins the race to the ball. Exxon wins the foot race. Exxon, one out in the square. Gaz, what are your thoughts on that opening turn? West Coast started well, now it's time for them to do it for four quarters. Let's check out the stats. St Kilda have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They sh The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. The game is back underway. Kelly with a big fist on it. And the mark will be paid. A low stabbing kick. Lucas Rock has it. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Got hands to it, hacking it out of there. Ball collected, drives it out of the pack. Drops the mark. Dowry keeping it low. Raiden just landed in her back. Looks up with the kick. Finds the loose ball. Can tie the game with this kick. Congratulated by your teammates. It's all level here. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Missed the target with the ball now. A chance to reload the attack now. McDonald uses it by foot. Great grab. The kick from Hooker. Green works under that ball. With a driving kick. Swanson wins the marking contest. She spears the ball. Atkins doesn't take the mark. Just dismisses her opponent. Carlson puts it on the boot. Doing well to intercept that kick. Uses it now. A strong mark in the pack from Cameron. 50 metres out. She can't hold the mark. She can put it through. Considering the options on the kick in. What drives the kick? Drennan takes a strong mark. Goes by foot. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Phillips kicks it. Raiden landed in her back on this occasion. Moved on by Carlson. Stands tall and marks. Puts it on the boot. Takes that one strongly. Kick by Drennan. Easily takes the mark. White kicks it to the square. The bounce made it tough. What? Slick with the hands. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Goes by hand to Atkins. She gets her hands on the footy. Opportunity for Raiden. Has it now. I haven't seen her for a while, guys. She's barely touched the ball lately. They get around her after that effort. 
West Coast by seven points. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Back in the middle now. Thumps it clear. Takes possession. Johnson keeps it moving. Fails to fend off the tackler. Constant pressure and rewarded. Laurie has a teammate on the move. McDonald unable to lay the tackle. Caulfield just throw it. Phillips sends one up towards the wing. Collected by Munn. The ball finds McDonald. West Coast have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. The ball ends up with Hooker. Sends the ball inside 50. Finds a target. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping she can put this one through the big sticks. A good job keeping it in play there. Eventually, the ball goes over the line. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Caulfield looking a bit sluggish out there. Oh, look at her. She really enjoyed that one. Now they lead by 13. About to resume play. Clears the contest. Rushes with the kick. Yes. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the term. The scores. West Coast, 31. St Kilda, 18. It's been a promising first half at West Coast. They'd be confident they can keep it going in the second half. Let's analyse the stats. The Eagles are winning plenty of the ball at the moment, and it's allowing them to create... Play. The third quarter about to get underway. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Big thump from Kelly. Penetrating handball. They can link up now. Racking up possessions now. The umpire calls for it. Punches are clear. Kelly might have overworked herself there. She just throws that ball. The kick from Gibson. The loose ball scooped up. It's a turnover. Watts needs a chance to rest. Just gets a boot to it. Intercepted. Green shrugs off the tackle. Raiden leading the race to the loose ball. Just threw the ball. Cuts the kick in board. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to her and give her some instructions. Drop punt straight through the middle. Her teammates rush over. It's under two goals now. Center bounce. Laurie thrashes it, brings it out of the pack. She gets above the crowd. Raiden elects to kick. Well collected. And the ball trickles over the boundary. Oh, it's tense out there at the moment, Hutto. Umpire tosses it in. Kelly dug it out. She gains the possession. Just gave it away. Just put her hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Dowry bangs it on the boot now. Hill moves it now. Davidson presents and takes the mark. Now with a low spearing kick, ends up marking uncontested. Keeps the kick low. Marks that ball uncontested. Wants to go. Takes possession. Spins out of there with confidence. A spearing kick. She takes the mark. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. She drives it towards goal. Spent that one before she earned it. Quick hands. And they could be away here. The Eagles call out on too many marks inside the opposition 450. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Lauren having an impact right now. She's dominating this game. Doesn't hold on to the mark. A clean kicker. Goes off the ground. 
goes off the ground. Getting pushed out of the way was Munn. Cameron uses the body well. Stabs at the kick. Good body work to win the mark. 45 metres out. Hookak with an opportunity for goal. 45 degree angle. She drives it towards goal. That one rams into the post. West Coast by eight points. Weighing up the options now. Plays onto herself. Dishes it off. Hits the target by hand. She doesn't want to let her teammates down with this shot at goal. 30 metres from home. A chance to put a second goal on the board. She celebrates hard after that. 14 points the difference. Thrashes it. Dug out the loose ball. Set an area. Just threw it. Sinks the slipper into it. Nice mark under pressure. Punches the kick. Hooker gets in a good position. Wants to move it quickly. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Ends up marking and contested. 20 metres from home. Takes the chance and says thank you very much with that goal. She's giving it all she's got this match. That's number three. This one, congratulated by her teammates. And there's the siren to end the third quarter. The scores are the Eagles, 44, to St Kilda, 24. West Coast believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. What stands out for you, Gas? West Coast can be very damaging if you allow them to... One quarter of footy to go. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Kelly hurls it away. Spins out of trouble. Giving it off was Hooker. Just gets it onto the boot. Finding the ball was Graydon. She just can't get out of the action. Phillips just gets it onto the boot. Good mark and looks to send it back. Elects to kick. An easy grab for Atkins. The mark is taken by Kelly. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. West Coast forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Lobs the handball, ends up turning this ball over. Uses it by foot. Takes a simple grab. White puts it on the boot. It's marked by Hill. Did well to get a hand in. Is in her possession. Going for goal number one. She bangs it through. Look at them celebrate that effort. The Saints behind by 14. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. West Coast have failed to get on top of the clearance, but it's how they can turn the ball over that is allowing them to score. Lining up for goal. Big kick required from this distance. Going for goal number three. Ball gets cut off. Intervening brilliantly was Hill. Nobody can hold on here. Pushes off the tackler. Carter couldn't keep her hands on it. White read at best. Exxon finds possession. Going for goal number one. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. They get around there after that effort. St Kilda close the gap to eight. We resume hostilities. Punched away. Has it now. Handballs to no one in particular. She takes aim. Just couldn't get it to Kermit. 
St Kilda behind by seven deciding where to go with the kick in plays on from the kick in chose to kick it and the mark will be paid manages to get a hand to it Mung dug out the loose ball the handball hits the target Drennan with an easy mark 40 metres out should be relatively straightforward from here she likes her chances from here. No issues with that drop pass. Drennan getting the crowd involved. The Saints have kicked the last three goals. St Kilda reduced the margin. That's a really good team goal. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. When the forwards are marking the ball so cleanly inside 50 like they are now, it must give West Coast a lot of confidence, especially when the pressure is on. Takes the mark. Elects to kick it long. Marks now and can send it back. Winds up and goes long. Hacking it out of there. Picked up by Carter. Hurried kick, scoops it up, gets it away. A chance for Graydon. That ball comes off the post. West Coast, but two. Whoa, searching for a teammate. Guthrie marks uncontested. McCarthy drops the mark, just landed in her back. Carlson drives the kick. Finding the ball with ease. Quickly onto the boot. Slams it onto the boot. A great mark taken there. Laurie has resources out wide. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. Great mark in the pack. 40 metres out. They can just slow the game down now. Take a bit of time off the clock. What a game! It was one of those games that could have gone either way, Hutto. Good teams find a way to win close games, and that's what we saw today. Our colors share the West Coast sky. Our will to win will never die. We're the Eagles, the West Coast Eagles. At the end of the game, the scores are West Coast 45, St Kilda 43. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Gaz. Thanks, Hanno. I've enjoyed every minute of it.